Hi friends, this is the Bijou Baker. I'm Maria. Today we're going to talk about measuring scoops, measuring cups, measuring tools. Uh, there's a, There are so many out there. I've got a really fun collection of really pretty measuring uh, spoons, measuring cups that are a little unique and, and fun to use. But I also have just my one standard that I use all the time because they're accurate. Some of the pretty ones, they are so pretty, but they're not made to be accurate. So I've, again, accuracy is really important in baking. It's really important. But if you have a, you know, a drop or two different, you're, you're fine, you're fine. So just, just keep that in mind. You, you, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna mess a whole lot up uh, unless you're using like nitroglycerin. Then yeah, you may make a bit of a difference, but <laughs> I don't cook with it, so you shouldn't. Okay, now the the pretty measuring spoons. They are so pretty, and and I gotta say, I've got I've got a bunch of them. Aren't those pretty? But they're not accurate. See that? You see that tip? Can you see that tip? How it's ridged and bumpy. So when you go to measure it, and you'll never want to use your your finger, and I, and I'll tell you why later. But when you go to measure it, you're not gonna get a complete accurate measure, and and that is after all what you want. That is that is gonna be your all all-time goal is to be accurate. Now mine, the one that I, I use all the time, they are accurate and they've been measured and, and tested and whatnot. So these are just, they're just a standard measuring spoon, but they work. And anytime I'm going to measure something, I've got all my really pretty ones to, to show and display, but these are the ones I'm going to go to uh, because they're accurate. I also have my measuring cups. Now, measuring cups, you're gonna want you're gonna want to get the ones that are just standard. Uh, sorry about the noise, guys. Just standard, you know, quarter cup, half cup, third cup, and such. Um, if you can find one that has a three quarter cup, you're gonna really be happy with that. If you can't, don't worry about it. Measuring this three times does exactly the same thing. It's just it's just a nicer, quick, convenient thing to have, but not necessarily a, a, a deal breaker. This is just a, a little bit of, yes, it is just a small portion of, of my chef toys and, and my measuring stuff, but you'd be surprised when I get my oven going, I use almost all of these for one reason or another. When you're measuring, you really want to have everything portioned out. Uh, and. and and let me tell you why now. You know, you've seen these video shows and they've got, you know, a cup of this and a half a cup of that and three quarters a cup of it and a tablespoon and a teaspoon and, a, you know. And it's like, why would you waste those dishes to put just a teaspoon when you can put it in something else? It's a check and balance kind of thing. When you're going through the recipe, it's just cool how it works. When you're going through the recipe and you see two cups of sugar and then two cups of flour and then whatever it is, and I'm making this up, uh, your teaspoons and tablespoons, you have everything laid out and then when you go and you see, you just check off everything. So you make sure that you're not missing anything because the worst thing is to get three quarters of the way done with your, your ingredients and find you're missing buttermilk or you don't have eggs at room temperature or butter at room temperature or, or whatever it is. So this is just kind of a check and balance kind of thing. And so using a bunch of them at a time, yeah, it's a little more dishes to wash, but you want to be accurate. Now, before I get to that, I want to show you. You can pick up one of these measuring uh, equivalents in the in the dollar store, dollar something or other. Um, and yes, I do know them by heart. But you know, sometimes you just get a brain fart and and you forget you forget some of the stuff. So you keep this with you, and it's like, and I know this is four tablespoons is, is a quarter of a cup, but let me double check. And so so it's handy. And there you go. <laughs> what a dork. Anyways. Getting back to, <laughs> that was fantastic. Getting back to the other stuff, okay. So you're measuring, you're measuring tools. You're gonna want something big. This holds, I think, uh, eight cups. I have one that holds 16 cups because yes, I do use it when I really get into my stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just funny. Okay, um, <laughs> try to find something big. Now this thing, I think I got a, like a garage sale for a buck um, and it's, it's a, very big red handled name, you know, so um, that, was, that was quite a steal and I've been using it for years. I got my, my money's worth 
when I put it in the dishwasher the first time, you know. Uh, different sizes. You'll also want um, scales. Some, if you're going to use, uh, if you're going to get European recipes, they go by the metric uh, system, and you, so you're going to have to break down grams to ounces and such. So you can either get something really simple and, and portable like this, and it, it stores nicely, and you can get this at, gosh, you can get everything online. I mean, you, you already know that part, right? So uh, that's something you're going to want to do. A scale, um, um, an electric scale works really good too. There are times when you have something that you want to just break down a little bit. This is this will be the way that you'll want to break down like ounces. Okay, so so and you can pick something like this at, at maybe maybe twenty five dollars. I think that's about what I paid for this. But you know if you're if you're a good bargain shopper and gosh who isn't nowadays? You kind of have to be right. Who can afford? Who can afford some of the stuff out there? And this is all just a luxury stuff, so you really need to be practical, especially moms, when you've got the rest of your household that you have to tend to. So, so I get it. And if you're, you know, one of these young young kids out there, well, you don't want to bombard mom and dad with with these great funds, and and they'll just tell you to turn the channel off, and we don't want that. So, um, yeah, be wise, be penny wise, and and if I can think of a bargain. Um, I know that there's there's a, a craft store. <sighs> I have two friends, Michael and Joanne, and they kind of work hand in hand together. So if if I go to Michael and say, "Hey, Michael, I got this uh, coupon from my friend Joanne down the street. Would you take it?" They do. So uh, and so a couple other places, and and most places do because they'll rather have your money at a discount than no money at all, right? Now. Getting back to this, this is one of my favorite measuring tools. It's a slide, and it is so accurate. And it's got ounces and grams and pints and cups and and all sorts of things all around. <clears throat> I don't remember how much this was, but again, it's online, and I don't know who made it. Sorry. But it, it's really great for, like, corn syrup or syrup or something really sticky because uh, honey when you use when you put your your honey in a cup and you go to measure it well you've got to do a lot of scraping I hate that and I hate waste I hate waste so this thing I put in a quarter cup of, of honey and I just push it on out and then I use my spatula and I scrape it down this is clean it goes to get washed and I've got exactly how much honey I need so I'd really, I'd really look into this. You don't need to. I'm just saying I, I love it. So measuring 101, check baby, you got this. So keep, uh, keep tuned for, for another video and we're gonna start working on, on the tools that you need. This is all very basic, remember, and, and some people are going, well, when are you gonna get into the cooking? Why would I possibly teach you about running when you're still crawling? So let's let's get you up and walking and let you know exactly where we're at so that when I do start talking about measure, you're going to tune back and say, I remember she said something about that, and then we're good. And we go on to the next episode. So, all right, so here we go. And uh, remember to, to like and share and subscribe and have a fantastic day. Happy baking, my friends. Bye-bye.